Yo, hello! Uh, secret people here. Hello. You're the secret people because you get to hear this, um... And people who are watching the VOD will probably skip through this entirely. Because it still says two minutes. I'm like, well, she must not be live. But you here, who are here live, are hearing my voice probably. Hello, welcome. <laughs> uh, let me see. I forgot to get some of my stuff set up, so. Do, do, do. Oh, Junie's still dead. One sec, let me... <clears throat> That's not it. Um, There. I think I have to take the tree down, too. Let me figure this out. Um, But hey, hey, it's me, a blossom, the mischievous possum. Dug myself out of church today to come see you. How y'all doing? Hello. Troll fan for once you're first. You're the first and only fan. And so there was a smack them. We need to take down the tree, my dudes. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Wow, it's so clean here. Hey, I'm Catholic. Christmas lasts until like mid January for Catholics. I know, it's kind of bonkers. You're a cat? Yeah. And I lick things. I thought you're an opossum. <sighs> I am an opossum. I'm kind of sleepy today, so you guys get my um, chill voice. Squat. <sighs> okay. I gotta stretch. <sighs> One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Hello, troll fan. Hello, Arihi. Hello, welcome. We love Arihi in this house. Hello, Tantalus. How you doing? <sighs> oh, hi, cat. My cat's all curious about what I'm doing. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Um, today we're going to be playing Power Rush Simulator. Again. <laughs> Eventually, we'll play something different. I had a space one. It was, what was it called? Space. Hard Space Shipbreaker that was gifted to me, and I want to play that eventually. But I, um, I didn't, uh, feel like doing that today. To those of you just joining, Blossom was commuting things in secret to people for stream. Never die because real friends don't keep secrets, even though I have no. <laughs> I should know. I was in Ginny's chat, she said my name reminded her of Scooby Doo. Why? Why Scooby Doo? <clears throat> Rot row raggy? This year cleanup? Eventually. That's on the list. That's something I want to do as friends. Reptarion, hello, hi! Laugh. Whee! Oh, I see! It does! That's really funny. Hi, cat. Oh, boo 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 boo. Oh, I got these in front of my face. Let me get rid of that and be gone. Rossum is not a rouse. Do you guys want a secret secret? One second. Rock rare. Happy! Hello! Good to see you! 
Guys, guys, I got to, uh, so, like, I, I was, yesterday I was in P-Tony's channel on, um, Game of Favorites, which is a really funny game show, and, um, and then there's, like, After Party where everyone face chats. Of course, I had my model, but I saw Happy there! He looks so adorable! He's a very handsome man. Everyone there was handsome and pretty. There were a lot of cool people there. You guys should join next time. It's great. It's like open to everyone, so anyone can join and just talk to the contestants and stuff. It's really fun. <laughs> it was really cool. Um, let me see. Let me see the secret real quick. Um, there we go. I think that should make it. So, guys, um... As you know, uh, maybe, maybe you don't know, <laughs> um, very soon we're going to start a D&D &D campaign. Um, me and a bunch of Christian friends are, are starting a D&D a &D campaign, uh, and we're going to stream it to all of you guys. And so I was getting a layout. You guys get to see a sneak peek of my character. Oh! Here she is! Hello. This is our layout. You are was- You're literally right here. You're literally right here was part of the group. This is my character, Opal Sophie. Yes. Mm. A goblin wizard! Yes, she's a goblin wizard. I'm very excited. Yeah, I have a, a draw for... Um, it's gonna be like this, where everyone's reactives in the little boxes, and then the play map on the thing. Uh, so this is a layout that I'm working with. I'm gonna be the one that's streaming it. I will not die! You do not kill me! I'm immortal! <laughs> Oh, I, I got so low HP, I've got like freaking 8 HP or something like that. That's because I put stuff into constitution. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, here here it is. Hurrah! We're still like working out with stuff. We're gonna go more stuff about it, but uh... Yes! I'm excited. I'm excited. Starting from level 1, yes. We are all- it's a 1 to 20 campaign. No fighter? No fighter. No. Sneezes with a nat 1. Blast explodes. No! <laughs> I am a fragile little goblin. Yeah. Um. Let me see. We got a... Let me see. We have a lot of spellcasters. We got a lot of spellcasters. Let's see. We have a bard, and I'm a wizard, and a warlock. And then Artificer is kind of like a spellcaster. The squishiest of squishies. I've never played a wizard. I've played a monk and a, a paladin before, so I'm not used to being squishy. It's going to be experience. What's your AC? Oh, gosh. Let me or let me bring up the page. Um, it's not very high. <laughs> I think... Um, actually, it might be higher than I, I think. I feel like it's like 14... Oh no, it's 12. <laughs> my dudes, it's 12. My AC is 12. <laughs> uh, my AC is 12. But, 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 my dudes, I am going into, um, s spells, spell singer? Wait, blade singer. I'm going to the bell, blade singer, which means I get to put my int into my, um, I get to put my int into my armor class. Which will be great. <laughs> Rip Kerblin, it was a fun two sessions. Ugh. Yeah, but I'll be putting I, I'll be putting my int story in my in my I do believe it's you put your int in your armor class, so. Dancing goblin! She is a dancing goblin. Level one wizards dry to a stray crit. Yeah, I know. Oh 
Guys, I'm level one and my int is literally 19. She has a plus four int. <laughs> I'm so smart. Guys, I'm so smart, I swear. <laughs> uh. Anyways, I hope you guys will join us for D&D &D campaigns. It will be on uh, Sundays. We'll be streaming on Sundays on my channel here. Wooey! Against I real timing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be streaming on Sundays here. Um, there'll be Hal and Junior joining. Shindo is joining. Uh, Farrakh is joining. And then the DM and his wife. It's gonna be very fun. I forget his wife's name. I think it was like Brandy or something. She's very sweet. She's just her gnome. My character is charisma. <laughs> but yeah, let me get back to the thing. Oh. Now we're here. Let me turn on some music. Oh, generic camping music. Who did the art? That was Stella! Stella did the art. Wait a second, I could probably show it here. I have pretty high decks, okay. Let me show the art to you guys. Hi, Cavalier. Oh, geez. That's a huge art piece. I will probably be posting this afterwards. I think I have shield. I'll get mage honor. I don't think I can get mage armor right now. La la! I might change my spells to get mage armor then. But here is the full body! This is, this is Opal. And she was drawn and helped designed by, by Stella. We kind of came up with, I was like, I want these things. And then Stella went with it. I really like how the outfit turned out. Um, she, she really likes elves, so it's kind of like she, she wears elven sort of fashion. It's uh, also heavily, the outfit is heavily based on a specific anime character. <laughs> if you can guess which, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> Let me see. Will I fix my spells real quick and see what spells I have? Um... You guys can guess. It's a pretty popular one. Not a pretty cure, no. It's one from a more mainstream popular show. Let me see. Manage. Manage character stats and levels. Not index? Huh? Spells. Okay, let me see if I can take... this. Punt the Gerblin. No! Not free run. Not free run. No. Huh? I thought that was a game. No. It's from a, a, a show. I'm not seeing mage armor in level one. I 
I see her in this laughter. Oh, there's my armor. Okay, it's a level one spell. What's it do? 13 plus his dexterity modifier. Okay, I'll take that. What's my spell book? I need to remove something. What is this one? Okay, guys, I think I've got to take out Magic Missile. That's so sad. I wanted to have Magic Missile. But it must be done. Okay. I can always get Magic Missile another time. Alright. Okay. Best level 1 offensive spell? Yeah. Wait, I can just remove Find Familiar. Dang it, I should remove Find Familiar. Oh, that's funny. I had the idea that she has fine familiar, but she she can only the familiar that comes up is only an opossum, <laughs> and she's really she's really peeved about it because <laughs> she's like, "What is this weird looking rat thing?" <laughs> Let me see. No, I'm not a rat. Opal just doesn't understand what what opossums are. She grew up sheltered, okay. <laughs> She's probably eaten them before and had no idea what they were. <laughs> uh. Okay, what are my spells? I have Chromic Orb, that one's good. An Acid Wind. These are pretty strong. I'll be using mostly sword. Play for fun, it's good to have good magic, but you won't let it get between you and enjoying the game. True. Y'all leave it as is. Okay, um... Agavi, how sheltered can she be? They aren't exactly a civil race. So she, her story is that she she's like not a normal goblin. She's part of a specific sub race that the DM homebrewed. And he's had like the story for years that he's wanted to complete. So she's, she's um, she was like treated as like a goblin princess, sort of, because she was born different. Um, that's why her skin is a different color, too. She's, she's like, songborn. Um, so she has a connection with these ancient sisters. And, uh, uh, she, she, um, she basically grew up, st like, starting out in, with the, uh, with the goblins. And then eventually left, uh, and started became like a cloistered scholar along with elves because she really likes elves and um became like very intelligent i'm not like other goblins i'm quirky <laughs> it's actually part of her story that she didn't really fit in because she had she was born like especially and seen as like this blessing from their their god um and so like they, that's what they she she didn't really like it though Do Christian understand? 
She does not have an elven lover. Also, everyone jokes about uh, goblin mommy. She is a goblin mommy. She's a mother. <laughs> so it's like a sort of sort of backstory. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's kind of sort of sort of back flavored. Why is lyrics? Be gone, lyrics. But yeah, she's she's like she's like um kind of spoiled in that sense. <laughs> Great guy approved. <laughs> no, she doesn't have an elven lover. No. Oh, dude, my groceries are here. One sec. Okay. Uh, when I get back, I'm gonna tell you which anime character <laughs> her outfit's based off of. <laughs> Fair be. Guys, I tripped up the stairs somehow. <laughs> Ow! I like caught myself on my arm, but it hurts so bad. Oh. What? The current chromatic orb looks like it does a lot of damage. Ah. Wait. Opal's outfit is based off of Amelia from ReZero. Let me see. What is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know it never misses. It doesn't do that much damage, though. Yeah, it's Amelia. Now we're missing is nice, but also like big damage. Anyway, uh. And I will get the game up. Blossom is going to die. It's fine. Absolutely destroyed my hands. Ow. <laughs> Why? Washroom. Based 
off of basic girls using to Jimmy C away from the girl actually deserves the detention? Look! Just her aesthetic! Just her aesthetic! We all know that Rim is the perfect girl, okay? But I like Amelia's aesthetic. Personality-wise, she's nothing like Amelia. That's a light. I thought it was just like a weird blob on the ceiling. I've seen the most recent, maybe I have actually, the most recent season of ReZero. It's really good. A wild posse appeared. Light Melody, hello, welcome. Hi, I am Blossom the Mischievous Opossum. I dug myself out of trash today to play um some, uh, what is it called? A power wash simulator. Hello, welcome, hi. I got the soda? Congrats, Pop Goes. Now you are <laughs> Pop Goes. <laughs> Get it? Cause Pop Pop so Soda. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the green nozzle is cleaning everything. Is it cleaning everything? I can't, I literally can't tell. Hello, hello. Jeez, this is disgusting. Not like other possums. <laughs> yeah. The floor is literally making me angry. Why? Why is it making you angry, Shindo? Wait, what's? What is? This area is probably one of my favorites to clean. Why does every single one of these songs have lyrics? Makes me feel claustrophobic. Something about that much visible dirt on the tile floor. It is, it is kind of icky. I like cleaning this. Thank you for the follow, Light Melody. Welcome to the Blossom Posse. I hope you have a possumatively good time here. Wait, is this graffiti? Oh, that's not actually there. It does look like a horror game level. You just walk in here. Ugh. Ah! It's just filthy. That's hilarious. No doors. We pee like champions. <laughs> oh, yes! It has skylights. Alright then. Also, guys, this is going to be a shorter stream than usual because um, I need to go to church tonight because it's going to be really nasty cold tomorrow. It's, I mean, it's already nasty cold today, but I don't. it's even worse tomorrow and I don't want to get up and do that. Average public restroom hygiene. <laughs> uh. 
I'm a girl. I don't have a reason to be in the men's bathroom. Clean this strip. Ooh. Yeah, I think just public restrooms in general are just yuck. Is Green cleaning it? It depends, I guess, where you are. Um, my sister said that the the girls' dorm bathrooms when she was in college were really bad. <laughs> People would like leave like cereal in the sinks for no reason, and it would just rot. It takes two seconds to flush the toilet, bro. Just flush the toilet. Yeah. A tea guy? Ah. Uh. Public restrooms are one place people will get how to public and eat how to restroom. <laughs> yeah. No tasty cakes for me. No tasty cakes. Do you really need this big of a of like a, a place for a urinal this this looks so big yes I guess maybe looks like you could you could wash a child in here Never seen a urinal like that. I wish public restrooms had urinals like this. Doing it on the floor would make the spray into insane. It gets all over your pants. It's an unwritten rule not to cleanse someone else's urinal. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> If you do, you're just a weird dude. Yeah. My brother talked about that. <laughs> like how he went to the urinal once and like this dude kept staring at him. <laughs> so he like never went to a urinal again. <laughs> in that place in particular, like he just felt uncomfortable there. Hello, Snake! I don't see that there's either wall mounted or the trough. <laughs> the trough! <laughs> no small tuck, no nothing, just silent finish. That's the rule of the urinals. I mean, that makes sense. It makes me so uncomfortable when, like, I'm in the girls' restroom and you're, like, using the stalls. And the girl next to you tries to, to like, spark up a conversation. It's like, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to pee. Yeah, 
very large public guys there's basically one wall dedicated to one long bathtub <laughs> bathtub of piss Oh, that made me think. I saw it. I saw it. There was like an outdoor. One second, we. You know, we're gonna change the thing to summer bonfire. I'm not joking. I saw it. There was like an outside urinal, and this dude comes up and starts washing his hands in it. <laughs> This dude just straight up shoves his hands into a piss trough. <laughs> it was so gross. <laughs> and then like they're like that they like it was like in, in different language. It wasn't in English, so they had translation and they had like the guy. <laughs> they they had like um like, they were just talking to him, and someone, like, basically tells him it's a urinal, and he looks down at his hands at the urinal, and he's like, Ugh! <laughs> And he's just- his hands are just dripping with piss. Absolutely disgusting. There are only two people in the urinal. Always one person and one urinal at each end, because picking one right beside someone when there is- is one on the far end is also weird. Yeah. And don't give me a swirling, ew. Girls sink and wash? It was an outside thing. Like, how do you turn on the sink when you're covered in piss? So, into a main room where each sink is converted into a drinks dispenser. Oh yeah, this guy wants to turn into a nightclub. It just seems weird. But it was outside. Speakers on the floor at you at the deepest base. Beats bring your tips. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly. It was like an outside event and there was really like a place to wash your hands because there was like porta potties and then there was just like this trough. This guy just uses the trough. It's like he goes from the porta potties and then washes his hands in the trough. But it was pee. Always leave at least one urinal gap between people except in an emergency. Yeah. Try ru What? Just bring hand sanitizer. Ever used a bidet? No. My sister has though. And there's still a bidet hooked up in her bathroom in my house. Are them all dry? It's just inefficient. Oh. Yeah, but pee. It's pee. There's like germs there. Gross. That's so clean. Nice. We have a couple of days in our house. Yeah. <laughs> When, um, when toilet paper got scarce, so that's when she got a bidet, because she was all scared about it. <sighs> and she weirdly liked the bidet. I am too scared to try it. Especially since it's not heated. <laughs> it just scares me. It's weird to have a toilet bit peas back at you. Exactly. I don't want that. Freaks me out. Oh. On a wall. Tiled floor. Okay, yeah, this goes here. Let's finish this area. Where is it missing? The only way to fight back is big toilet paper. <laughs> uh. T-Rex roar sound alert? Roar. 
toilets that speak to you? That could become very sus. Ah! That blinded me. With an alcohol, you can make that reality. That's speaking from existence. Experience. <laughs> uh, um, cowboy. Cowboy. Cowboy, are you okay? Cowboy, are you okay? Okay. Oh, nasty. We are not cleaned. For the record, I do not drink anymore. <laughs> I know people. That makes sense. What is this? Urinal spread? Spreader? What? I feel like <laughs> Did I drink? That's probably for the best. Hello, Sheldon. I feel like you could have two guys in one of these. Like, I know it wouldn't be great, but you could. <laughs> it's two guys crossing streams. Did I tell you about how I used to have pissing competitions with my brother? It's super weird. <laughs> We'd wait. <laughs> the questions the homies around here. If you don't, you'll if. I don't know if you like that, but I don't want to know you like that. <laughs> Are you too much in for me? <laughs> We'd both wait until we needed to go to the bathroom. As kids. IRL friend, it's a homie? Yo, Spanish speaker, Spanish speaker. Hello. You would- <laughs> Me and my brother would wait until we both needed to go to the bathroom and then we get a little timer thing, a stopwatch, and when uh, one of us would go into the bathroom, we'd try to pee as fast as we could while the other person stood outside and timed. And you would- you would- you would try to go faster than the other one. <laughs> you insane! <laughs> uh, I somehow won most of the time. <laughs> Fantastic way to damage your bladder. <laughs> Smiled. <laughs> it was just a game. <laughs> it was just a game we played as kids, okay? <laughs> Just pee with all your might. <laughs> no, I did not go half in my pants. Basketball with pee? No. <laughs> Crossing pee streams with our guys, the most AO pausing I've ever heard. That's crazy. that but it was just a thing we were very competitive about literally everything to each other so it would make sense that we were even competitive about peeing <laughs> we 
We're tryharding even in the P game, you bet. Contacts Blossom's brother immediately. <laughs> I don't know if he even remembers that stuff. He was pretty little. I mean, we're only 11 months apart, but it's like a big difference somehow, like, in memory. Also, he's had, like, major head trauma. <laughs> uh, so, like, bro. He doesn't remember a lot of stuff because of that. You went to the equivalent of Snow Crows, but for a P game, I did. P competition is the most backwards redneck type of activity I've ever heard, and I'm 1000% for it. <laughs> exactly! Dude. I am kind of redneck though. Not super, but yeah. Sweet home, no! <laughs> Although, when I was younger, um. When I was younger. When we didn't understand what marriage was, we just heard it was like, you want to stay together with someone forever. Me and my brother were like convinced we were going to get married. <laughs> uh, very weird. <laughs> we never told our parents. Trails will sky place in there. <laughs> I'm 7, 9, 14 years older than my brothers. Whoa. Sweet old Possum Bama! We, we literally never talk about it. <laughs> we were the siblings who would constantly fight but also like loved each other a lot. How did we get here? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um. Cleaning urinals, and now we're talking about how I wanted to marry my brother. <laughs> Playing League with the boys? Enjoy! Least in unhinged VTuber comment. Grandpa's a bit sick, so I'll give him his medicine first. Oh, I'll keep him in my prayers. Tanku for the lurk. Loved each other a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, we just didn't know what marriage was. You need a redeem for when you overshare, you have to put money in a jar. No. Out of context, this is a white that is a wild statement. <laughs> we, we were like five or six. I might have been six and he was five. So like, we literally didn't know what marriage was. We, we like asked our parents and, uh, and they were like, oh, it, it's when you really love someone and you want to stay together with them forever. And we're like, oh yeah, that's, that's totally what that is. <laughs> and, and you know, we have Stella who's older than us, but we didn't want to marry Stella because marriage is only for a man and a woman. So, and my brother was closer to me than Stella. So obviously that was made sense. <laughs> Our little kid brains didn't know how to work. <laughs> did I clean this? I did. I really wonder how much he remembers. <laughs> because, like, he, <laughs> he got in a bad car accident and he literally lost a lot of his memory because of it. But, like, I don't want to bring it up because of how awkward it is. Like, hey, you remember when we said we wanted to get married, bro? <laughs> like, how- what, you, what context is that even okay? <laughs> this just in, children's brains are not fully developed, exactly.
Being a child was wild, bro. Am I standing in a urinal? I am. Well, <laughs> at least it's clean. When he's clean, yeah. Urinal topper is not clean. Okay. I like how they put a little footstool. I like how they made a little step stool for you to step. Imagine being a family member hearing that offhand and be like, Ayo Bloss, what the heck? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm kind of terrified of of my family, like ever. <laughs> Literally, we we uh, we kept it his secret because we were like, oh, I don't know why. Criminal side eye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a my, my aunt is kind of, um, let's see, level side eye from the family would be insane, I know, right? Especially because we're adopted, so, <laughs> I mean, like, me and my brother are genetically related, but, <laughs> but we're the only adopted family members. <laughs> They're like, mm. <laughs> you adopted some weirdos, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you did. Was toilet stars are gonna be very finicky to 100% clean? Uh. It doesn't look too bad from here. And then you, you turn around and it's like. Ugh. Why is the guy singing about eggshells? What is this? Urinal drain. <laughs> you know, I'm just there's back spray from from a powder wash. Can you imagine you back spray like the drain and then you just get piss in your face like a piss a piss cloud? <laughs> They're all disgusting. Yeah, we cleaned it. Okay, we're good. Let me up. 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 Filthy indeed. What is the lyrics of the song? <laughs> Help. Anyways, um, besides brother kissing and and uh, piss, how are you, how is you guys this day going? <laughs> Yo, there's a gnome! Look at him, he's so cute. Look at him. I like him. Kind of erased his ear, and that's okay. Uh, wait, was that the end of the playlist? I think that was the end of the playlist. This is like a short playlist. Brazilian carnival. Why is there specifically a Brazilian carnival playlist? That is a little weird. How oh, road trip. Washroom wall. Window. Oh, you have to clean the window frame? What is this? Is there like a red pipe? Okay. 
Burr, 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 burr. Guys, oh, we're actually pretty close to finishing, um, apparently we're decently close to finishing Silent Hill 3, which is weird. I didn't think that we were that close. But Snake said that he thinks that if we do about two more streams, then we might finish it. So, six six more hours maybe maybe not too bad if we don't get stuck on rope again <laughs> I'll never live it down. Rope will be my inheritance. Why can't I lift the lid? Okay, I guess we can't lift the lid. Lyrics, my enemy. Why is the toilet not done? There's a little light here. Can't touch this with a hand. <laughs> That's such a guy thing to do, you know, like when you, but I guess I did it too, but <laughs> You know when you have a thing that's like high up and like for some reason guys always do this thing where they like jump up to smack the ceiling or whatever. <laughs> they just smack it. <laughs> I was quite the tomboy though, so I don't count. You lot don't do that? Most girls don't. No. Whenever I did it, the other girls would look at me weird. They'd be like, what are you doing, Blossom? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the thing, you know? That's what you do. Uh, like I said, I was quite the tomboy. <laughs> He's like a king. Further along the cubicles. Oh, this guy wants to make a nightclub out of this bathroom. I don't know how that's gonna work. It already doesn't sound the best. So we private dance floors, each one featuring the latest hits from different from a different continent. What the heck? This is not big enough dance floor. Has the Arctic blast consumed your area too? I mean, it's absolutely freezing outside. It's in the single digits currently.
still... Well, I actually think it's still in the double digits. I think it's like 14 out. Having food and drink in a private privy is a great idea. Yeah. <sighs> nice, got it. Um. Yeah, it's freezing here. Um, it's supposed to get even colder tomorrow. Sometime in the negatives, I think. I really hope my heater doesn't break. That would just suck. It always breaks in the worst time during winter and I don't know why. Like every year without fail, I swear. Well, every other year, at least. It's crazy. do this for hours but I don't have that much time I want to get to church early so I can get a close parking space so I don't have to walk very far nice floor is done so now the wall is all that's left no actually the cistern pipe needs to be washed too oh and the cistern Cubicle wall. Okay. Cubicle wall. where anything dirty is. Hello! Ah. Mass will be great tomorrow. I missed Mass last week because we had our first snowstorm of the year and I couldn't get out there. Of course, the rain washed it away later in the evening, which greatly irritated me because I wish it happened earlier. Yeah. That always sucks. You like ah, I wanna go. Is this the same door frame? It is. Okay. This is shared. It's weird. Yeah, um, I don't know why, part of me is always like, I wish it would snow so I don't have to go, but then at the same time, whenever I get there, it's so nice. Church is where I am happiest. Why? <laughs> You're such a dairy. Guys, I took a <laughs> I took a dairy test <laughs> and I got vodka dairy. <laughs> the test literally called me an idiot. 
Ah! On brand. Uh! It's no fair. I took it too. I think I saw. Uh, you got the same one that Judy did. The Aja Theory or whatever it's called. It's like a princess slash princely type. Shindo doesn't even have to take it. We all know he's a Sindari. I had a double thing? Why? Do you see any? No. Here we go. I remember it was cool. Look at that. Not too bad. Like, imagine you walk in here and it's just blasting music, and then every time you pat, like, there's multiple different musics blasting. There is no soundproofing in here. You're just gonna be hearing all the music at once. Absolutely awful. Aliens! One, two, three, four stars. Puzzles. There's like a little face. <laughs> he has a nose right here. Good job! He's pondering the orb. Look at him, he's pondering the orb. I wonder if we can clean off the orb. Just the orb. <laughs> Skylight frame. Oh, wait, did I get this? I have not gotten this one. Oh, it's Neosty. I like taking those little tests. They seem fun. I saw a Pokemon one for a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and I want to take it. I took like the easy version, which was only 16 questions, but there's one that's 64 questions. <laughs> and I think that that would be more accurate and it would be more fun. I'm kind of curious what I'd get now. Last time I played, I got Bulbasaur, but I was just a kid then and I changed so much. You know. Yabe. Return the cat. Meow. It's a whale. Wee. 
Ha 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 ha. I need to watch Free Run. It seems fun. I've been seeing my sister watching the episodes because we, we share a Crunchyroll account. And it's really funny. <laughs> she's like, I see you've been watching Pretty Cure. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I see you've been watching Free Run. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> she was watching Rima. Rewatching Mushishi a while ago. I like that show. Toilet lid cleaned. Yo, this music is so bumping. I know how likes the elf from Freyrin, aside from the meme, that's all I know about it. Uh, from what I know, it's about an elf that basically because of um because of life spans she like outlived her friends or something like that and she's really sad <laughs> that's like all i really know i'm like ah yes sad elf i like sad elf Ooh. I'll be sad when I outlive Blossom. You're not gonna outlive me. You're like 80 years my senior. <laughs> Humans stick with lifespan and elves, so it's slightly different. Yo, I love that idea. My uh, goblin in D and D is gonna live. Um, if she doesn't die. <laughs> She's, she can live up to 300 years, apparently. I don't know if she knows that, though. She probably doesn't know that. Because she's, um... Because, like, her people... Her, like, people like her aren't... Is there a light switch in here? Oh, there's it. Can you imagine turning off the light switch to everything? <laughs> Her people aren't like that well known. She's very, it's very like rare for uh, her sub race to be born. 
Another element to him. If he can't finish his arc by level 10 to 11, he'll have a lifespan of 7,500 years as human. That'll be sad. <laughs> Imagine you, it's like, if you don't finish these goals by, by leveling up a certain amount, you're gonna be gifted with technical almost, um, technically almost, uh, immortality. And he's like, no! Nah! There's like one guy in the court and he's just like, give that to me, I want that. And he's like, you're crazy. Goodbye, gnome. We cut off his head. <laughs> Simple farmer. He never dreamed of living past 90. Exactly! He just wants a simple life, okay? Where is it dirty? Where? Okay. I gift you with the ability to live for 300 years. No! Why are you unhappy? Because I have to farm for 300 years! Ah! Oh shoot, I didn't think of that. <laughs> this looks like someone was using the urinal to poop in. <laughs> We call it even. Oh. Thanks, watch. My Fitbit was like telling me that I hadn't moved in an hour. <laughs> I've moved, I just haven't, you know, 
exercised. Clean, clean. Yes. This looks so nice. Makes me think of a water park. <sighs> There's no graffiti in here. I guess they didn't go that far. Funky. Oh yay, that was big bucks. Mm. You're not I'm thinking, will each contain a different soft drink, allowing the patrons to rehydrate after hitting the cubicles? What? A drink out of a urinal? You never had urinal soda? Or all jet you were all jazz to try their cakes. <laughs> Soda. Tastes like asparagus. <laughs> oh, I hate asparagus. My mom really likes asparagus, so she'd make asparagus all the time, and I wouldn't eat it, and she'd be like, Blossom, you need to eat your veggies, and I'd be like, I will not eat this. Make me carrots, or corn, or green beans. I like green beans. I will not eat your asparagus. Disgusting. She said blossom to the cage for being an unruly child. <laughs> I can't eat most things that I'm like. Yeah, mom used to try to lock me in my room, but then I would um, I'd jump outside my window and just run around for a few hours. I would just jump down two stories, like I don't care. And then one time, um, I was really mad at her for locking me up because 
it was like for a dumb reason, I think. At least it felt like it. And, um... And, uh, it was raining. And she just, like, locked me out of the house while it was raining. So, uh, but I could get into the porch. So what I did was I carried mud in and spread it all over the porch floor. <laughs> I just tracked mud in as much as I could. And I caught a cold, so she felt bad and I didn't have to clean it. <laughs> I'm sending this link for the stream to the police you need to pay for your crimes. <laughs> ah, yes, for, for you getting mud on in the, in the porch when I was like 13. Beautiful. Being a bad child. You're rushed for ch being a bad child. I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations is over. <laughs> My mom kind of realized that locking a kid out in cold weather in the rain was not a good idea. My school ministers never figure that out. I'm at my friend's house for D and D night. Nice. Yeah, it's fair place TND. <sighs> and I wish I could play D and <sighs> I'm here to preserve my streak. Yes. Seventeen levels into a one to twenty. Nice. Missed my cursed story time, Farrick. Cursed 
curse story time? Nope. Nope, you missed it. You don't get to know now. Ha 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 ha. She's more Estelle than we ever thought. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That, that's not true. <laughs> Neither of those are true. You had to do it the wrong. Of course it's censored kissing. All my playlist ended. I don't know what word you said. My brain cannot. <laughs> uh. Okay, we have eight more minutes. <sighs> the Inky place. Ah! Yes. <sighs> Yeah, I said clean. Maybe a little hand ding. Yo, it's the ass! Woo! Goodbye, ass.
Gotta go pee pre your dinner. We're gonna be ending stream soon anyway. No. <sighs> Whenever I take a drink, it loses tracking of my face and just falls asleep. It's <laughs> so funny. Say it. it's coming up right nice, huh? Yes. I was expecting holes in the walls and all matter of unholy deposits. I ain't seen so much as a cracked tile yet. over here. You know when you have an itchy spot and then you just scratch the heck out of it and it's like nice. My arm is itching like crazy. off I am nom, 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 nom. tempting skylight frame I think I still have more here here we go it's clean. to go. Yeah. Wah! Hello. Um. Who is streaming? My boy Riff! My boy Riff! What is Rift doing? Let's raid Hal, make him feel guilty for not raiding me. <laughs> okay, I gotta raid Hal! Well, it just had a big thing that said you're live, like... And I don't know why that startled me, because it was like, yeah, yes, I am live. I know that, but I didn't know that, you know? Me, Hal, see, onward. He's playing the 
banishing of Ethan Carter or whatever it's called which is a game actually I plan to play eventually he keeps stealing ones off of my list anyways have a good night or day thank y'all so much for coming take care of yourselves take care of each other I will see you later I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow um cuz I got uh um what is it Mm, busy stuff to do and D, D planning and stuff like that mm, but we'll see we'll see I might you know it's, it depends on how long it takes but uh, I will see you probably Monday if I don't make it tomorrow but, uh, have a good weekend are you possibly new you uh, bye 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 bye